Okay, I'm going to show you how I got my stock clearances right and how I was able to get five clutches in each one of these drums on this C6. Now, this thing was a mess. I'm going to show you what we had. This is the forward clutch drum. It wasn't, it was really set up okay. It had five clutches in it, which is a good thing. Uh, a lot of regular pasture car ones I think have four. And um, all I had to do, the steels were still good. Here's one of them along with a new clutch. Uh, I just sanded those. And they didn't have any hot spots in them. They, the, they might good. I measured them. But um, on your direct, you got to have this pressure plate on the bottom against this spring, this disc spring right here. That radius rides right here. You see where it's been riding. And what happens is when this piston gets applied, the aluminum piston underneath this disc, it pushes that up. And this radius here kind of rides on that and slips on it as it goes up and down. But it's got five clutches in, as I said, and the stock clearance is good. Uh, sometimes you can read, if you look it up, some books and people on the internet will say around eight thousandths per clutch. I've had guys tell me ten thousand per clutch. But if you look in the books, the tolerances vary. I mean, the uh, you can you can uh, you can have as much as a twenty thousandths of a tolerance. Meaning, meaning let's let's say I got five clutches and they recommend eight thousandths per clutch. That would be a total of forty thousandths stock clearance. And what stock clearance is is how much room is there between your snap ring? And this disc after all your clutches are in it. Now this has got around 60. Uh, it's usually plus or minus 20, depending on what book you look in. So right now, let's see. Find the right. Let's see. Here is. Let's see that is 46, 56. There's 61. 61 is very tight, so ideally, if you want 10,000 per steel, you want 50. 61 will go in, but it's very tight, and like I said, it can be plus or minus 20 thousandths. Uh, I've heard, I remember like on some 350 turbos, the GM 350 turbo, uh, sometimes the direct, the, some books say as much as 80,000 stack clearance. So that's how I did that one. Uh, it was it was set up okay. Now the direct or reverse high as they call it, it was a mess. Here what was in it. What was in it? It had five clutches. There's four right there. Actually, it had four. That's right. It, had, it only had four. Yeah. That's and what they did. And here's all the steels. Look at how bad they look. I thought they had, had five, but no, I only had four. And what they did, here's, here's what your steels look like. See, the stock clearance was only like 20 or 25, I think. And that's after it got wore. So it's probably tighter when it was put together. You can see a groove wore right there. That's one of the steels that go in between the clutches. But what they did, they had... How many steels? Let's see. One, two, three... Four, five. They had six steels in it. Here they all are. Look how blue that one is. Look at that one. That was one at the bottom where it touches the piston. Look how it's. Um, can, if you can see it on camera, it's see how it's concave. It's supposed to be flat. It warped it because it's too tight. It was making a lot of heat. And here's the setup I've got now. Got my new clutches in it. this out real quick. This pressure plate, I cut it down to get the right stock clearance. I'll explain that later. But I just got one steel. I got one steel, one clutch, one steel, one clutch. That's the way it's supposed to go. A steel and a clutch, every other one. Pull them both out right there. Both steel and a clutch. 
if you can see, let me get that out. Get out of there. If I can get it out. You know, when you're trying to do stuff on camera, everything seems twice as hard. I would flip it upside down, but I don't want to have them pick up any dirt that might be on the table. The table's pretty clean. But. That last steel won't want to come out of there. There we go. As you can see, there's your piston down there. Of course, we've got a spring, a retainer, and a ring right here, and springs under it to hold the piston down. And just a steel on top of the piston and a clutch, and you just do it every other one. And that's what it's supposed to do. I managed to get five of them in there. And something else I want to point out: you see two stent ring grooves here. There's the original one, because originally this is a four clutch drum. It had been modified where another groove got cut higher, so you can stack an extra clutch in there. Which is fine, because I did that on a race car. I didn't do it to this one, but someone else did it to this one. Did it to it. But I did do it on a race car, and that's fine. The race car works great. The transmission has been together for over 15 years. And every time I tear it down, it looks like brand new, you know, to check it out after racing. So that's fine to do. But anyway, but what they... I'm going to go ahead and put these back in and show you. And this plate here, the top pressure plate, originally they are a lot thicker on your four clutch uh, drums. And I cut it down, so after I stacked all these clutches and steels in here, I cut it down thin enough to where I've got about, about 52 thousandths clearance. Which is perfect if you want ten thousandths per seal. It's just a little bit more than ten thousandths per seal, and that works works out good. But okay, here's forty six. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's fifty six. I could get in there. Find a ten here. Yeah, there's there's fifty six. A little tight there. But anyway, you, can, you get the idea there, about 10,000 for steel. Plus or minus 20. It's It doesn't have to be exact. A little tight there, but... But here's what they had. You've seen all of these, see how tight that was. But they had four clutches and six steels, and of course they had bad bent one on the bottom, which I'm sure wasn't bent when they put it in. But then there was a clutch, steel, clutch, steel, clutch, steel. two clutches and you recognize that that is a pressure bottom pressure plate for a forward clutch drum I just showed you one that looked just like it on this side and when they had all that stacked in there like that you only had like 25 thousands clearance and you can see what happens when your clearance is too much and that is the clearance that I measured after it wore down, you can see the groove there. I can feel like a five or ten, five to ten thousandths deep groove there, and that's on almost each one of these. The groove's not or not as deep on these. But that's the mess I had. So hopefully, I'm never going to be too confident until I get it together. But hopefully, we're going to notice a huge improvement in the way this car performs and this transmission works.
I'm pretty confident about it. Unless something else goes wrong that I overlook, but that's okay. I'll fix it. Because it's a lot cheaper than paying someone probably over $1,000 to build me a performance transmission. Even if I have to redo it once or twice, which I don't think I will. But I just wanted to show you that on this stack clearance.